Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come on back tomorrow. Look where we're at. Look, 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 look. The music is on. This is this is what we've been waiting for. Remember when we were here two weekends ago? And this is oh. It's happening! It is happening. We've never seen Buddy Boo before. Uh, my family kind of grew up on Gremlins. Look at Gizmo and at Woody. Eve is kind of like this now. Eve is kind of like this now. That is so awesome. This just gets me in the HHN vibes. Hardcore. Whoa, I did not realize he was for sale. So we also, I mean like you guys know, we love just coming to enjoy the atmosphere and the people watch. But we don't know, we haven't looked on like if Sarah can even go on any attractions right now. Right, because a lot of the, the non-roller coasters and the non-thrill rides typically have some sort of movement, jostling around. So, we really like shows though, so. We do. And, and we, just sitting around, so. But I don't know what shows they're doing. Well, we're yeah. going to check out Diagon Alley. Duh. I wore my swish and flick button and my Ravenclaw button because we talk about Peter being a Hufflepuff a lot. We don't talk about me being a Ravenclaw. Maybe I'll go on Mummy. Yeah, you should. So we realized I can probably go on E.T. It opens at 10, so we'll have to come back. So that's a good one. Here we go. This is what we've been waiting for. Yeah. Look at this beautiful, not busy, diagonality. The perfect London. Rainy experience. Gloominess, yeah. <laughs> this is nice. It's nice and new. Got the hallmark on the sleeve. That is really great. And there's even sweatpants. Mm -hmm. I yeah, love sweat that. Suit. <laughs> nice. This is what the Hogwarts students wear in the common rooms. This is what they do when they go jogging. <laughs> Since it's a little drizzly today, we're hanging out underneath this part because in five minutes, I got my first virtual queue. Um, I have two actually. I have one for Mummy and one for Gringotts and it was super simple, very similar to Fast Pass Plus, but there was less search. Like, and more just like what's available. Yeah, like that's what it was. So that was super cool. Um, and I, 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 only got, I only got two and I think that was the max you can have at one time. Oh, did you hear the music? Yeah. Right, so I haven't gotten a push notification or anything. So I'm not sure. But it's my time, so... It does say head to the entrance when it's your time. Oh, maybe that's it. You, check, you get checked in. Well, maybe they, maybe they know my name already. Maybe. Okay, I'll be back. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. There's two people walking in. But look at, all empty. This is so surreal. This is crazy. They got the markers. Oh. I'm interested to see how the attraction goes for this ride. Once again. I mean, like, there's that family up there, but. I am basically by myself because Sarah's not with me. We just walked through the elevator. Or 
Alright, check it out. Six feet. Six feet. Six feet. I'm gonna have front row to myself, middle row is empty, two people in the back row. That's pretty good. I'm gonna be honest, I've never seen that before. Really? What are you saying, Wizards Welcome? So, uh, Gringotts was really good. There was nobody in the queue. Social distance was good. They made you do hand sanitizer before you got on the ride. I liked that experience. I think they're washing, they're not washing the, the rides in between each party. I don't, I didn't see that. But I think they said they're gonna do it like every 20 minutes. And if they're hand sanitizing before you get on the ride like you had to, yeah. that is gonna help reduce that spread okay. risk. So we're out of Diagon Alley. We're gonna stroll and see if ET is good. But I saw this quote the other day and I wanted to share it because I put it on Instagram. It said, you don't raise a generation on Star Wars, Harry Potter, the Hunger Games, and then tell them not to resist when their people are being oppressed. So that's Boom. so true. We've seen the stories. We're living the stories. And so Peter's gonna keep on protesting. He's going out tonight. And we're gonna keep on advocating sharing. for policy change right. and trying to join. I wanna try to join the Citizen Police Review Board. Yeah. But we gotta look more into that. Yeah. But also just amplifying black voices and doing what we can. So we learned a lot from Harry Potter, so full circle. Sarah just grabs my arm and pulls me this way and goes, let's go explore. Which I don't think we've actually, I've, we've been over here in this section because of Halloween Horror Nights. Oh, there's a little nook. Look at a little seat. A little nook. Like we've been over here before, but not down that other alley. I remember our friend Sean, we'll put his YouTube video or link down below. We used to have conversations during Halloween Horror Nights about how he wants to like film a whole, film a whole movie. Wait, in his, we go the other way? No, we're gonna go, it's, go circle. Okay. Here, he was like, you definitely could film a whole movie in these alleyways and you would never know you were in a theme park or Universal. Studio. There's the studio, I'm like, Sean, let's, let's do it. Let's just do it. Let's stop talking and do it. We're hiding out in a little nook. It was the perfect time. I feel like this is where like a newsie would hang out to hide from the rain, still trying to sell the banner. So we came into this U rest area. It is warm and it is humid with the rain. All you have to do is social distance. It does say expectant mothers can't ride, so we're gonna have to pass. I'm trying to think Maybe of like what the, would cause that. the smoke. We won't question it. What the? Boo! I am Megatron, leader of the Decepticons. We've never seen him before in person. Here, you little um, look at there's a Shrek spy sighting. Hey Shrek! Whoa! There's another first for the book cards. We've never even I've never even seen this. Sarah saw this on Resort TV One. But What's I, up, man? How's it How going, you Donkey? You having a good day? Yo, so far so good. Yeah, I mean I'm on the cover. I they, they I try to get an umbrella, but they have they don't have my little backpack thing I usually have. I have like a backpack with an umbrella attached to it. And I was trying to walk and get some food, but like, since I'm on here, it's fine. It's not a big deal. We're finally hanging out in the UOAP lounge. We've like stopped in for yeah. things before, but since someone over here needs a little back support every now and again, we wanted to stop and just chill, escape from the rain, get some AC and some sits. So I think this girl has self-justified <laughs> a lunch at somewhere we've never eaten before, Mel's there Diner. Mel's Diner. They have two really good options for us. Beyond Burger and a uh, Gardein chicken yeah. sandwich. So we're gonna get the Gardein. It has more on it. It's gonna be more filling. French maybe, fries. Maybe two fries. Um, but the difference with here at Disney is you even get your discount for being an annual pass holder at the quick services. Yes, and the big difference is the vegan options here are not significantly more than yeah. the actual meals like yeah. they are at Disney. So it's super fancy. We waited in line to get seated, and then we actually placed our order on the mobile app, and we're gonna tell the server the number, and they'll bring it to us, and then we're all distanced. All righty. Oh. Here's our, what? It's fresh. Fresh? <laughs> yeah, lots of, lots of guac and cheese, and it's delicious. So overall, 
lunch was pretty good. I rated the sandwich like a seven, six, six seven ish. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. It was Fri big. French fries were, were banging. It had really good toppings, but like the chicken sandwich just like needed like a little extra spunk to it, like more seasoning some on the chicken sauce. or some buffalo sauce or barbecue sauce. Overall, good portion. I nice wanna, that it had avocado on it. I want to say one thing: if you're annual pass and you like to get your annual pass discount. A lot of these places you have to order mobile order. I don't think you have to, but like they advocate for doing mobile order. And if you want the discount, you have to make the purchase on mobile order full price. And then after your meal, ask them to reimburse you for the discount. And they'll bring you, like they, they bring you to a register, they calculate the discount and then reimburse the method of payment that you use. Right, so we're gonna go back into Diagon Alley for a little bit before Peter's other, what is it, mobile queue? Virtual line. Virtual experience. line. And then we're gonna head out. I gotta say, after not coming in here for a few months, it's a little extra spooky. <laughs> <laughs> it's extra dark. It is. But this lens is awesome and low light, and you can't even. It is significantly darker than how you're seeing it right now. There it is, the beauty itself, the revenge of the mummy. Our favorite ride in Universal Studios. Yeah. I'm gonna go sit on a stoop. Interesting, for mummy we're backstage. Oh my, this is part of a queue I've never seen before. Look at all these cool movie scenes and scripts. Oh my, this is cool. I'm gonna be honest. The mummy queue by yourself, with all the social distancing, is kinda scary. All right, we're heading out, it's a little after one. We were gonna get donuts at Voodoo to make up for yesterday's don donut debacle, but since we got mouth, I think we're just gonna head out. Yeah. Um, the protests were kind of moving around. There's two main ones going on today, and they both were supposed to start at two, but early this morning they announced they're starting at three instead. So I think I'll have time to go home with Sarah for a little bit. Yeah. Before I head out. Wait a minute, 919 Orange Avenue, Winter Park. Does this look familiar? It should. This is my typical running route um, through different parts of Winter Park. And that's where I'm heading to is today's peaceful protest is beginning in Winter Park. I don't know where it's ending. I don't know if there's aspirations to head downtown between here and there. Um, to meet up with the larger group that's going on downtown or if we're just gonna kind of stick to our own up here we are in orange county still we still have a 10 o'clock curfew but the like the circulating news was that we were supposed to meet at the winter park community center at three it's just about three right now so i might be a few minutes away but i'm a few blocks away um so yeah i'm excited to see being in a different park because this we, i've only really been around City Hall, the downtown area, and then marching between City Hall and Orlando Police Department, the station. So to be anywhere else, I didn't go with this group of people when they went to East Orlando. Um, and I wish I would have that night instead of going to City Hall, just to, it needs to be, these kinds of voices need to be heard in all different towns, not just downtowns. Um, recently, a couple, I think it was two or three days ago, our hometown of Evergreen Park had a protest that started in our big park and I think marched down 95th Street, closed down some traffic and showed, had shown a lot of support for what's going on. So that was cool. No justice, no peace, we will breathe. What's our name? Which one? What's his name? Which one? What's our name? Which one? No justice, no peace, we are peaceful. Black Lives Matter. We are peaceful. Yo. 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 So when you to acknowledge the fact that Winter Park was built by black people, uh -huh. and when they built all the, yeah. the mansions and the golf courses and everything, the orange groves in the city, they were forced to live in Hannibal Square in that area right now that is now demolished. <laughs> And I 
heavy, the pain, the trauma, the fear, the concern that our cousins and brothers can't go out for a pack of Skittles in Arizona. You know what? Not a black can even measure in amount of dollars. I can still hear the crowd back there. Um, I'm leaving though to head home. It's gonna be an earlier night for them, um, even though we're in Orange County, but we're out of downtown here in Winter Park, so we can they can stay up till 10. They stopped marching because the rain, and because there's not as much area to properly march in Winter Park. Um, but I got a lot of good information to share about what, we, what people can, can do locally and statewide and nationally. Um, they had some family members come up to talk about some cases that are ongoing here locally in St. Cloud and Kissimmee and a few other areas, but I'm gonna walk on home. I think Sarah's taking a nap and then it is almost eight anyway. Um, also, see this rain? There was a tornado warning um, that came through and they, we kept marching. We were over by the, by the police station when it came through. But the cell, we were over by the police station when it came through, but the supercell part of it was further west. Um, and we barely got the, we barely got anything other than this like cool, cool constant rain, um, which makes it feel good here in Florida. But I'm gonna get to walking home.